championship air races have been uh, at Reno for over 50 years. At, at the time uh, before that, it was the uh, Cleveland Air Races and racing actually came out to uh, Reno after that. And so um, it has been out here a very, very long time. Pilots have been racing airplanes since shortly after the Wright brothers did the first flight. As a matter of fact, the first air race in history was in France in 1909, and some very famous pilots, uh, Glenn Curtis, uh, beat um, Louis Blériot by five seconds in that air race. So as long as uh, pilots have been flying, they've been racing airplanes too. Reno is famous worldwide for holding the national championship air races. When you travel around to different events in the country and in the world, people don't say, oh yeah, steel national championship air races. They say, Reno. Oh, you're from Reno. It's an event that actually puts this community on the map globally and really gives it an identity. Well, to me personally, it's a place where I can come and be with my family. And my family being the, the fans of the Reno Air Races. And um, there's people that I, I see every year and, and we just uh, we have an instant bond again. Um, we call it a lot and you'll probably hear it in other uh, conversations that, that this is our Reno family, our September family. And the other part that's amazing is some of the volunteers have been there 40 or even 50 years. They keep coming back every year because they have this passion for the event and for air racing specifically. It's just a place where we can come, we can race, we can talk about airplanes, uh, put everything else out of your mind because you're out here, you're racing, it's airplanes, uh, politics, there are no politics, there's just racing at the Reno Air Races. We set it up with the schools locally to bring the, the kids here and it's, it's wonderful that you see the spark in their eye when they come in there and that's what we're looking for. In the last several years, really focused a lot on STEM education for the local communities. We had the drone zone, which a lot of kids really get involved with and they like that. We had this virtual reality uh, area where they can go in there and put it over their eyes and see what flying was like. And, and a number of other things that, that uh, showed these kids what aviation was all about. For aviation, air racing, or whatever, we got to start with the kids and get them involved. The Reno Air Race is a really worth continuing. It excites people, it excites the, the youngsters these days to do well in school, to learn things, to become technically competent, it honors the military so we do not forget what sacrifices we have made over the, the years to get here to, to be able to practice this freedom. As you all know, the, the events of COVID, uh, when it first began to migrate, I, I honestly have to say I uh, totally underestimated the kind of impact it would have on the American economy. The National Championship Air Races, the Reno Air Racing Association, has in fact had challenges continuing to operate a profit, and it had some expenses and carryover debt from the past. We're inventing new ways and researching every possible um, method to to uh, keep it alive, keep it in the public eye, and keep some income coming in in order to continue it into next year and into the future beyond that. And we think it's definitely possible, but um, we definitely need some help too. So really, the, uh, the bottom line is the Reno National Championship Air Races is such an amazing, unique event that it, it really needs to be preserved. It, it needs to be here for our kids and our grandkids. Almost everyone who comes out just loves it and wants to see it keep going. And what I would say is just, you know, we really need donations, we need financial help. And there's no amount that's too small. You know, there's just, there's no amount that's too small. In terms of, of all of us coming together to keep the Reno Air Aces alive, best thing that all of us can do is visit the website, go to uh, airrace.org. If it's in your heart to, uh, to help the races continue and you're excited about doing that, we, we can't say thank you enough if you click on that donate button. You know, if, if you've never been to the air races and you happen to see this video, I just hope you'll consider it. Because you can't experience it anywhere else. And it's, it's a family, it's a exciting, incredible event that you just won't forget. Um, and I just hope that this city, and I hope that the aviation community and the air race community all just rallies around us, help us, help us keep this thing going.